Father, I just thank you right now in the name of Jesus for our sister. Father, I thank you for that prophetic message tonight. Um, Father, she began to speak over the nations. And Lord, we just lift up the nations to you right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. And we thank you, Lord, that you're stirring hunger in the hearts of your people tonight. Father, we thank you for a hunger and a thirst in the body of Christ. Father, we thank you right now that you're causing a fresh stirring of the anointing. You're causing a fresh stirring. You're causing a fresh hunger. Father, we thank you for that word that you spoke over Canada tonight. Um, Father, we come into agreement with that. Father, we thank you that there's going to be an awakening over Canada. Father, we thank you that there's going to be a revival uh, that hits the streets. Father, we partner with Canada tonight. And Father, we just lift them up. And I just have a word uh, for intercessors uh, in North America right now. Father, if you're, if you're a, a an intercessor right now in North America. Just lift your heart up to the Lord. And I hear the Lord saying, uh, this is a time of refreshing the intercessors. And the Lord says that there have been many months even of warfare that has happened, even in North America. And the warfare even is going to continue. But the Lord says, I'm going to bring a wave of refreshing to the prayer warriors in the season. And the Lord says, I'm going to bring a fresh new prophetic anointing to the intercessors. And the Lord says, I'm going to turn the volume up. And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to expose spirits and cities and, and nations and churches. And the Lord says you're going to begin to get visions that are brighter and dreams that are brighter. And the Lord says there's going to be a unity that happens in this season amongst intercessors. And there's going to be something that happens then to knit them together in a fresh new way. And there's going to be something where they plug in and the power line is on fire. And I see it happening in a lot of different places and a lot of different regions. But if that's you and you're an intercessor, you want to press into that right now. Father, I thank you. And we plead the blood of Jesus over the prayer warriors right now in North America. Father, I thank you, Lord, for their prayer call. Father, I bind right now in the name of Jesus every spirit of fear and anxiety. Ones that have said, Lord, we're tired on the wall. Father, I speak a refreshing into their spirit. I speak a refreshing into their mind, into their emotions. Father, I thank you that it's their time to arise and shine, that it's their time to stand on the wall. And Father, I thank you for what you're about to do in the intercessors of North America. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Brigitte Fernandez, I see that you, you are online. Hopefully you're still on. I just want to pray for you. you. You're saying that you were once on fire, but you're feeling burnt out. So I just declare the power of the Holy Spirit over you right now. I decree and declare a fresh passion for the word of the Lord, a fresh anointing upon you. I thank you, Lord, for fresh fire to be shot up in her bones. And God, I just thank you, Father God, for Brigitte. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over her. I thank you for your angels that surround her, Lord. And I thank you, God, that no weapon formed against you will prosper, Brigitte. I thank you, Father God, that you're just anointing her now, that your fire is falling fresh upon her tonight. I thank you as she lays down tonight, her sleep will be sweet. And I thank you, Lord, that you give her dreams and visions and revelations from the heavenlies. God bless you, Brigitte. I am... I have a word for, is it Bridget or Brigitte Fernandez? That's why I was just Did you just, I, have the same, I got the same one. Father, I thank you, Lord, uh, for Brigitte. And I, I see you sitting on the edge of your bed. And I saw a lot of different things going through your mind. And it was almost like you were going through a season of torment or there had been some seasons of torment. And the Lord is saying that if you would just press into me a little bit harder, if you would press into me just a little bit more, if you would take a step towards me, he says, I'm going to take a step towards you. And you're very close to a breakthrough. And I see that breakthrough happening and all of a sudden clarity comes. And it was almost like there was a season where decision making, there were some issues having to do with decision making. And the Lord says that I'm going to bring a relief and a release having to do with some relief relational issues. And it was almost like you had a hard time communicating and relating. And the Lord says that, he says, I'm going to shift some things in this season having to do with your heart. And I'm going to lift some of the torment off of your mind. He says, press in because breakthrough is on the way, says the Lord. I have a, just a word for, hold on one second. I saw you on here earlier. Roxanne Smith, I believe it was probably before the service, you said, uh, no video, just hearing the music. And the Lord spoke to me and said, listen to the music. Mm. And, and 
the Lord would, would uh, just say to you that it's, it's time to hear the music and it's time to put your feet and dance to the music. And so I just pray for you, Roxanne, that the Lord would give you those ears to hear and eyes to see what he's doing in the spirit. And I just thank you, Father God, for Roxanne and I ask you to give her a new freedom, a new freedom to move in the rhythms of your grace and in the rhythms of your spirit. And Father God, I just thank you for Roxanne and I ask that you would just pour out your spirit upon her in greater measure, that you would bless her beyond her wildest dreams. And I thank you, Father God, for a bright and a hopeful future. And I just see blessings coming your way, Roxanne. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. In Jesus' name, God bless you tonight. Amen. We have a lot of Canadians online tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lisa Smith. Father, I thank you for Lisa Smith. I thank you, Lord, for the call in her life, the anointing on her life. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the season that she's in and the season that she's coming into. Uh, and Lisa, I, I'm having this vision of you, and I'm seeing you walk through a field, and it's a little bit foggy. And I see your eyes coming up just over the fog. And I see the field that you're in, and I see the fields to come. And I see some trees that are full of fruit, and there's a lot of fruit trees in seasons ahead. And I hear the Lord say that you're not going to have one more barren time, and that you're not going to have one more barren season. And the Lord says that I'm not just the God of the lefts and the rights and the whens and the hows. He said, but I'm the one of the stops and the goes. And right now it's a moment of pause. And he says, but in this next season, I'm going to have my finger on the fast forward button in your life. And the Lord says that there have been a lot of prayers and a lot of seeking and a lot of decreeing even and declaring in your private time. And the Lord says that I'm going to bring some quick answers to you in this next day. And it's going to be like nothing has happened. Then all of a sudden it's going to be a suddenly, a suddenly, and then a suddenly again. And the Lord says that I'm going to have you network with some people in this next season uh, that are going to speak a lot of life into you. And the Lord says there have been moments of networking in the past, but this one is going to be very impactful. And the Lord says discerning of spirits is something that I am going to bring to the forefront. And the Lord says you're going to walk into a place in a prayer meeting and a meeting and know the spirits in the room. And the Lord says you're going to know what needs to be prayed in and what needs to be prayed out. And the Lord says I'm going to take you to the next level with discerning of spirits and with prayer, says the Lord. Amen. I just want to pray for uh, Denise Monahan. God bless you in Canada tonight. I thank you, Father God, as we've prayed for the intercessors, and I thank you for Denise as she's an intercessor, and I ask, Lord, that you would pour out in greater measure upon her. I thank you, Father God, that she has ears to hear and eyes to see what it is you're saying in the Spirit. I thank you for that ability to decree and declare over the things that she is responsible for. And Denise, I, I just, um, I hear the Lord saying that great blessings are coming, and you have been faithful. And the Lord shows himself faithful to those who are faithful. And so tonight, I just bless you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for Denise. I thank you for that, that everything she puts her hand to do is blessed and everything that she puts her hand to do prospers. And I thank you, Father God, for the great anointing that's upon her for what she does in the ministry. And so, Denise, God bless you tonight. Amen. We have a lot of people online about 15 people from Hamilton. So I'd just like to pray for Hamilton, Ontario, Canada for a minute. Father, I thank you, Lord, for Hamilton. Father, I thank you for the covenant relationship that Eagle Worldwide Ministries has with that city. Father, I thank you that everyone that's called to work at the Hub and everyone that's called to work at the Kingsway and, and, and the Center for Excellence there and the outreach program there and the church there. And Father, we just thank you for this next season. Father, we thank you for all the prophetic words that have been spoken over that land. And Father, we remind you of it in this season. And I, I hear the Lord saying that even in the silence, he says, I'm working. And the Lord says, even in the shutdown, he says, I'm not shut down. And the Lord says that even in this moment, he says, I'm working behind the scenes 
aggressively. And the Lord says that there have, are a lot of different aggressive things that are happening even in this time. And the Lord says, as the aggression you see even in government and even in politics, he says, know that I'm even more aggressively working on your behalf. And the Lord says it's going to be like the flip of a switch and all of a sudden things shift. And it's going to be like the flip of a switch and all of a sudden things change. And the Lord says that I'm preparing the hearts of my people in Hamilton, Ontario right now. He says, I'm preparing the hearts to receive a message. And the Lord says, in the seasons gone by, they weren't quite ready. And in seasons gone by, their hearts really weren't there. And the Lord says, I'm going to make it so this time the switch happens. And I'm going to make it so this time the seed goes deep down into the ground. And I'm going to make it so that this time when I reign, even in that city, he says, I'm going to watch, you're going to watch and see it takes root. And I see people coming in even to the work and people coming in even and people coming in and stepping foot on the land and saying, this is my place, is where I belong. And the Lord says, uh, it's going to be like the flipping of a switch and all of a sudden things happen. And I see the presence of God beginning to flow in a different way. And I see the presence of God beginning to invade churches there. And the Lord says, it's going to come prayer. And the Lord says, there is a remnant that is rising and you're seeing the true and the fake and the right and the false. And the Lord says that I'm sharpening people's discernment in the remnant in North America right now. And I'm sharpening people's discernment in Hamilton right now. And the Lord says, you're going to know when people prophesy and if they're really of me. And you're going to know the people that come in and that they're supposed to connect. And the Lord says, begin to declare the right. Begin to declare uh, perceiving properly. Begin to declare the ones that are called in. He says, because I'm about to send a brand new wave of leader to Hamilton. I'm about to send a brand new wave to Eagle Worldwide Ministries at Canada. I'm about to send a brand new wave to Hamilton, Ontario, to the churches. And now I see the nest, and I see the nest on fire. And now I see his glory house. And the Lord says, my hand is on his glory house. He says, my hand is shifting and changing some things. And now I see the room changing, and I see different things changing. And the Lord says, I'm going to do something special in his glory house. He says, it's not going to go the way you think, and it's not going to look the way it looks right now. But the Lord says it's going to be very, very impactful in the hearts and the lives and the people that are there. And the Lord says that people in his glory house, there's people right now and they're starting to have personal revivals. And you're going to hear people say, I'm feeling very passionately about this. I, I, I'm feeling very passionately that we should do different things. And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to ignite a revival in the hearts of people, personal revival in the glory house. He says, you're going to have moments of worship where people can't get off the floor. He says, you're going to have moments in communion where people can't move. The Lord says, get ready, his glory house. It's not going to happen the way you think, and it's not going to look the way it looks right now. He says, but I'm going to move in a very unique way. Personal revival, says the Lord. Amen. And I just want to pray for the pastors of his glory house, for Pastor Harpreet and Suzanne Sani. And Father God, I just thank you for them. I thank you, Lord, that they are forerunners. I thank you that they are pioneers in the spirit. And God, I just lift them up to you. And I thank you, Father God, that you give them wisdom, revelation, and understanding. I thank you, Lord, that you give them witty inventions and creative ideas. I thank you for Pastor Suzanne and Pastor Harpreet, God, for the, the ideas they have for the social media, for their spiritual boosts that they do uh, throughout the week. And Lord, I ask that you would just download download ideas from heaven in Jesus name and I thank you Father God for those that tune in and to watch them I thank you Father God that you give them the the strategy to reach those that are online and to to connect with those that are hungry and those that are passionate and share the same the same ideas and the same uh, hunger as they do and so Father God I thank you for his glory house and for the pastors for God what's on the head flows down onto the body so Lord I thank you for revelation wisdom, understanding. I thank you, Father God, for um, just the uh, ability to, to prosper and, and that they will prosper even as their soul prospers. And Father God, I just, I ask your blessing upon them, upon their family, and upon all those that are associated with his glory house in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Amen. Dave Ramnath, I see you tuning in here. Father, I thank you for Dave. I thank you for Brother Dave. I thank you for that call in his life. I thank you for the anointing. I thank you for his season. And Brother Dave, I hear the Lord say that it's not happening the way it looked. And the Lord says it didn't go in the direction that you thought. And the Lord says that it's taking me by the hand is how it's going to happen. He says, taking me by the hand and walking this thing out. And I see you now walking and I see a door. And now I see a couple different doors. And the Lord says, I'm going to open the right one. 
And the Lord says you're going to have to go back and touch some things in your roots for the next couple doors to happen. And now I see some doors opening and I see you going back to an old place and getting a blessing in an old place. And the Lord says it was almost like you were headed off in this direction and you were detoured. And the Lord says that that detour was me. He says, and discern me in the detours, he says, because I'm in it. He says, and I'm about to open up a couple more doors where you're gonna have to reach back and touch your roots for them to open, says the Lord. Amen. I want to pray for um, Marlo Barn. Um, Marlo was requesting some prayer for provision. So, Lord, I just thank you for Marlo. I thank you, Lord, that you are his provider, that you are Jehovah Jireh. And, Lord, whatever need he has at the present, Father God, I ask that you would just reach down and bless him. And, Father God, I ask that you would speak to others around him to help in the situation with the circumstances. God, I thank you that you will never leave him. You will never forsake him and the children. I thank you, Father God, that you hold them in the palm of your hand. And, God, God, I thank you that as he delights himself in you, that you will give him the desires of his heart. God, I ask your blessing and your provision and your protection around his family in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amos Simmons, do you know what his wife's name is? Austin Marie. Austin Marie. Is she online tonight? Mm-hmm. Well, Father, I thank you, Lord, for Amos, and I know he goes to the dwelling place here. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for him and his family. And when I saw him on, on, your name popped up tonight. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for that word of the now, for that family. Father, I thank you for the gift and the call on his life. And I hear the Lord say decision after decision, decision after decision. And he says, easy does it. He says, easy does it and, and walk with me carefully and slowly during the season. He says, because I'm going to turn the volume up in your hearing. And the Lord says that my voice is going to be the loudest voice and my voice is going to be the reverberating sound. He says, and my voice is going to be the one that brings peace and that brings direction. And the Lord says, there's a couple of different decisions that are going to be made in the next three months and in the next six months. And the Lord says, I'm going to lead you prophetically through each door. And the Lord says... I'm the one that's uh, prophetically leading and guiding you now to the door. And the Lord says that I'm speaking to you in a different way and I'm developing a vocabulary with you in the season. And the Lord says that you're going to know uh, me by, by patterns. And he says, I'm, I'm, I'm patterning you in transition right now. And you're in transition and there will be moments where it's emotional and a moment where you don't quite fit or something's not quite fitting. And the Lord says, easy does it. He says, take me by the hand and partner with me. He says, I'm going to walk you through each door. And each door is going to lead to a great blessing. And each door is going to lead to an upgrade. And each door is going to be something that you prayed for and something that you believed for and something that was a blessing to you. And the Lord says that there's going to be in a day and a time where I bless you to be a blessing. He says, but I'm going to teach you a process through transition right now. Discern me in the door. Discern my voice in this season. He says, take your time. He says, there's moments in time where the enemy would come and want to push you. I want to get you to hurry. And the Lord says, I'm going to lead you and guide you. And he says, that's the difference. I'm not going to push you. I'm leading you and guiding you. He says, take your time in the season, says the Lord. Amen. I want to pray for Darlene and Wendell Jerome uh, from Manitoba, Canada. And so, Father God, I just thank you for Wendell and Darlene, for the faithful partners that they are with Eagle Worldwide Ministries. And the Lord would say, even though that you're you're tucked away out in the west there in the prairies, he says, I've not forgotten you and I will never leave you or forsake you. He says, I'm right there with you because I am Jehovah and, and I am Emmanuel, I will never leave you or forsake you. And he says, Darlene, that gift of intercession, and both of you, that gift of intercession that's upon you is is about to increase. And the, the Lord says, I hear every prayer. I see every tear as it falls to the ground. I hear every word spoken in prayer. That's that's aimed in my direction. So he says, I'm, I'm not deaf to your prayers. I'm, my ears are attentive to the prayers that are offered in your place, says the Lord. And he says, I'm about to move by the power of my spirit in your life, in your ministry, in Jesus' name. And I just say, hi guys, God bless you. We think of you often and thanks for tuning in tonight. Hallelujah, I have something for them too. Uh, Darlene, it's so good uh, to see you online. Uh, and I have a special place in my heart. But Darlene, I see you uh, in the nighttime season. 
and the Lord says I'm about to do something very unique in your life and the Lord says that I'm gonna take you to the next level even prophetically and the Lord says that dreams are gonna begin to come and the Lord says you had a season of dreaming and you had a season of seeing visions and the Lord says I'm gonna bring that back in a new measure in this next season and the Lord says you have it now but you're about to go to that next level and the Lord says you've been faithful with the little and you've been faithful uh, even when I drop things even in your spirit and the Lord says I'm gonna begin to do that with words of knowledge like you've never experienced and the Lord says you're gonna be able to look at someone's eyes and see the hurt and see the pain and have that knowledge that breaks the yoke and the Lord says it's gonna be like uh, in the word where it says that my word comes forward like a two-edged sword and it cuts even between the bone and the marrow and the Lord says the words of knowledge that I'm gonna be able to flow through you are gonna do that and bring healing to a lot of different people and the Lord says you're gonna begin to have dreams and visions and know how to intercede on their behalf the Lord says you're gonna see the spirits uh, that trouble them and you're gonna know how to bind them up and pray them off and the Lord says uh, I'm gonna reward you uh, in the future and the Lord says you have done a lot of that and he says I'm gonna begin to bless even your family line and the Lord says I'm gonna do something special with the family even something special with the children he says it's because you have sowed in different fields he says you're gonna watch and see as you sowed in those fields I was watering your garden says the Lord Amen. I want to pray for Anoma Didas from The Gathering Place in Aurora. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in tonight. And I just, um, I just want to pray that, that God will continue to bless you and to bless your home country. And I know that you're a great intercessor. And so I just pray God would continue to strengthen you as you intercede on behalf of, of him and his people. And so, Lord, I, I thank you for Anoma. And I ask your blessing upon her as she supports her church family, as she supports her pastors, as she she supports her home country. Father God, I thank you for a greater anointing upon her tonight. I thank you for a fresh fire of the Holy Spirit to fall upon her. I thank you, Lord, that you give her dreams and visions and revelation. I thank you for open doors of opportunity and God-ordained encounters for Anoma tonight, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh. Sling Carpenter, I see you online. I love you. When I saw your name this song is not in my era but that song I've only just begun is it I have only just begun yeah. to live I begin to I begin to hear that in my spirit and um, I saw this tap like a garden hose that I have at my mom and dad's home back home and you turn I saw this garden hose turn on right here and I heard that song it's only just begun and I see the water begin to come out. And the Lord says that my spirit is going to continue to visit you, but it's only just begun. And the Lord says that pursue like you've never pursued my presence. He says, and you're going to be able to go into places and you're going to see the spout turn on. And I see it turning on in your home. I see it turning on in your bedroom. I see it turning on in a church there. And the Lord says, I'm going to continue to turn that faucet on in different places. And the Lord says, you're going to begin to see me in a very unique way in this season, invade with my presence. And the Lord says, as you press in and as you pr pursue, he says, I'm going to begin to cause you to flow in a new way. And the Lord says, learning how to flow in my presence in a deeper realm is where you're headed says the Lord and I just see you beginning to be in that realm and father I just but decree and declare over Celine right now. Father, I thank you that it's only just begun. And I decree and declare uh, that there's more. Father, that there's more. Father, I thank you that she's going to jump into the more. Father, we lift up Lester right now. And Father, I thank you for them. Father, I, I decree and declare that the atmosphere around them is suitable for them to thrive in, for their marriage to thrive in, for their business to thrive in, for their family to thrive in, for their children to thrive in. Father, I decree and declare a thriving over their family line in Jesus' name. I want to pray for Debbie Major tonight. You were asking for uh, fresh boldness. So, Father God, I lift up Debbie to you, and I ask for your angels to surround her right now. I thank you, Father God, as she listened to this message tonight. She was stirred in her spirit. So, Father God, I thank you for that holy boldness to come upon her, for that courage. And, Lord, just to speak that word in season to the lonely and to the lost, to the broken, God, as she comes across people in her path. Father God, that she would have the boldness to minister to them the love of Jesus. Lord, 
Lord, I ask you to fill her afresh and anew with holy boldness and your love, God, because your love casts out all fear and all fear is gone now in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, for a fresh new beginnings for Debbie in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I'd like to lift up Brandy and Josh right now from here from the dwelling place. Brandy and Josh Holmes. And I saw your name scroll through the feed here a couple minutes ago and I saw this beautiful living room. And uh, it looked like it was Christmas morning. And there was a huge box in the room. And uh, it was like that you, sometimes people play tricks with their kids sometimes and there's another present inside, another present inside. And I saw you open up that, that box and there was a present inside and I saw you open up that one and there was another one. Until it got down to be a very small box. And uh, when you flipped it open, there was a beautiful ring on the inside of that box. And the Lord says that both of you have a very unique call. You have a, new, you have a very unique call. And you're called to be multifaceted, multi-anointed, multi-gifted. Uh, and he says, you're not where I have you headed. And you're not where you were. But you're in this place right now of transition. And the Lord says, I am transitioning you, but I'm not transitioning you like you think. And the Lord says that you have visions of the future and you have promises that I've promised you even long ago. And the Lord says, I'm going to bring those things to pass. And he says, but there's a journey between now and then. And the Lord says that I'm going to pour into you so that you can be a pouring out to others. But I'm going to pour into you in a very unique way. And he says, I'm going to pour into you from other people. He says, but right now I'm going to begin to have you sit at the feet of a mother and father for a season. And the Lord says, there are some words that are going to go to you and penetrate you at such a deep place and such a deep level. And the Lord says, there's going to be some words of wisdom that are spoken into your heart and spoken into your spirit that shift your perception and that sharpen your discernment. And the Lord says, you're going to begin to perceive things in a higher realm. And the Lord says, you're going to begin to perceive things in the spirit like you never have. And the Lord says that being led by the spirit, living by the spirit is where you're headed. And the Lord says, it's going to be where I'm calling you to every single day. Day. And the Lord says that it's going to be way bigger than you think, and it's going to be way better than you think. But the Lord says there's a journey between here and there. And the Lord says that it's going to be awesome and it's going to be wild. And the Lord says you think that you've been on a wild ride, but you haven't seen anything yet. And the Lord says, I'm going to take you in such an incredible journey. He says, if you partner with me, he says, sometimes the enemy has you look like this. And the Lord says, I want you to think big and dream big and look bigger. He says, because it's bigger than what you think. He says, but right now, I'm going to have you sit at the feet of a mother and father. He says, because I'm going to need to change your perception on how you view some things in this next season, says the Lord. Well, we just want to thank you for tuning in tonight to Winter Camp Pursue and Recover All. We just want to pray a blessing over you tonight. And just before I do, I want to just mention that we are here for an, over another week yet till next Friday night. And we invite you to tune in every night on either the Eagle Worldwide Facebook page or the YouTube Eagle Worldwide site. And so tonight, Father God, I just thank you for all those that have joined us. Lord, I ask that your blessing would be upon them. I seal by the power of the Holy Spirit every word that was spoken to them tonight. And Lord, I thank you that as they retire tonight to their bed to, to go to sleep, I thank you that you give them sweet sleep, dreams and visions and revelations from the heavenlies. God, I ask for a holy, fresh anointing upon them as they go forth from, from listening tonight night online and Lord that you would give them that that boldness and that strength to pursue and recover all join us again tomorrow night for Lydia Merrill God bless you